Global warming has made recent summers in the South Pole warmer, and with that, sea ice in the region is expected to reach new record low levels this summer. A team of local researchers have uncovered that it is polar vortexes in the atmosphere that affect rising summer temperatures in the South Pole. Yinzin has the details. In the South Pole, summer comes to an end in March, which is when the amount of sea ice in the region drops to its lowest. In 2022, the sea ice showed significant shrinkage, with its size dropping below 2 million square kilometers for the first time. But that record was broken last year, with the sea ice shrinking to 1.8 million square kilometers. Experts are projecting a new record low this year, as the South Pole had an even warmer summer, and in February, the sea ice area had already dropped below 2 million square kilometers. The sea ice started to shrink rapidly starting around 2016, and this year we're also predicting a sharp decrease. A team of South Korean researchers have uncovered in a study that it is warm airflow in the atmosphere that is causing warmer summers in the South Pole. In the Antarctic stratosphere, there are polar vortexes that rotate counterclockwise, which function as a kind of barrier to block warm air. But this vortex that grows in the winter months and weakens in early December has been collapsing earlier year by year. And as the high pressure increases, this allows more warm air to flow. The period when the polar vortex collapse occurs has gradually become earlier. With that, airflow in the troposphere also weakens, and more warm mid-latitude air could flow to the South Pole. Global warming shrinks the sea ice, which decreases the amount of sunlight reflected, turning into a vicious cycle that accelerates climate change. The research team emphasized that in order to identify the root cause of the rapid collapse of polar vortexes, continuous monitoring and further climate change research is crucial. Ian Jin, Arirang News.